Hello, hello everyone, welcome to Pure Design. I'm Janine and in today's tutorial I show you a simple little script. Some of you ask me how to create um, a slider retouch or retouching slider, slider for your retouch in Instagram. And so you can go from 100% to zero with the slider and yes, um, let's just start. Okay, let's start with a tutorial. I see a project that I created uh, for some months ago. It's uh, the Realistic Beauty um, tutorial. Please uh, check this out um, after you've seen this one right here because I want to show you um, that this um, script also works with other layers. So it, the slider is uh, defining the opacity of the face mesh retouch. So you go to your retouch mesh material, retouch material, and you see this skin smoothing. And this skin sp smoothing is just a simple opacity um, uh, slider. So I just go to 50%. This is uh, the result we want to start and make sure that you go to your project at properties and make sure that your platforms is just Instagram. The slider just works for Instagram, not for Facebook and go to your capabilities. If you don't see the native UI control, Make sure when you go on your plus sign, you can search for it and double click on that. And then it creates uh, this in this manager, the cap cap capability for our slider. Okay, and then go to your add assets and create a script. Double click on that and open the script in your editor. Um, this one is my editor and we start with a blank script. So at first we need to require some assets, the material and the native UI. The first one is for the materials const materials. So and require the materials because we need the retouch material later and we need to require the native UI require the native UI it's the native UI control and now we need a promise all and in this uh, promise all we search for um, we not search for we ask for the materials to find first our material we want to Manipulate, in this case it's retouch. So just show you again this one right here, this retouch. And then we need a function, function called results. And we search, we create that right yes just make sure it's closed now we ask for for our ne next function um, we ask for the re retouch it's our result so this one right here in position zero it starts with an zero so we ask for uh, this one right here so for the retouch and now we create also the slider equals the information right here native ui dot 
and it's the slider we ask for. So we search in the native UI for the slider. And we need to make sure that the slider visible is true by default is the visibility um, false. So there's just two possibilities for the visibility. It's switched off or switched on. In this case, we want to make sure it's visible slider. Um, sorry, slider is visible. And we want to make sure that when we start with the slider, the value is 1.5, it's like um, the slider, if this is 100%, this is 0% in the middle. So it starts in the middle, like we set our um, retouch setting, our skin smoothing in the middle too. So, and now we need the function for the result. We need the slider val value to monitor subscribe it scribe it to a function in this case called val so close this function again and now it's just a one line uh, so we uh, make sure that our retouch opacity this one right here is equal val, so this one right here, dot new value. And that's it. So save this, command S, just make sure everything is fine. Cannot set property visible of undefined, okay? I make a little mistake and <laughs> same like always. So slider, save, clear this one and just restart it just to make sure you see no errors. Console, if you don't see the console, uh, go to view and there you find the console. And um, check at first uh, when there is any problem, the spelling. <laughs> it's uh, the most common um, problem or mistake you can make, I think. Uh, it's for me like that. There is no solder in the native control. <laughs> so, And now I can test it. I just open the player. I have some troubles with still with, no, not right here, still with connecting Instagram with my Spark IR. So, well, uh, it's okay when I publish it, but not when I want to test it. So I go to in to my Spark IR player instead. Hello, send again. And now it's by 50% zero and I think it's really zero hello <laughs> and pull it up and it looks like a wonderful hundred percent and yeah it's working so pretty simple and you can also use this script for other um, meshes if you want to so when you uh, want to create other stuff with uh, the opacity of your mesh just use this little script and yeah so thank you very much for watching i really appreciate your time and thank you so much for your effort and your great uh, ideas for new tutorials and i hope so much uh, that i can create um, more complex tutorials in the future and yes um See you next time, enjoy the process and stay creative. Bye bye.